You know, there are certain businesses that exist that you can start that require very little skill or money to do and can easily get you to a point where you're making well over $1,000 per day. And in this video, I'm going to run through seven of those businesses. And I know for a fact that all of these businesses, if you actually take them serious and put in the effort, can absolutely change your life forever. And I would know because some of these businesses I've either done for myself or I'm currently doing, or I know people who are doing them and making well over $1,000 per day doing it. Now, this first business business is probably the most fascinating because no matter where you live, even if you live in a small town, most of you watching wouldn't even notice that this highly profitable business exists. You see, every day, businesses everywhere get truckloads of new products or materials or just things that they use to operate their business. And more often than not, these things are being delivered on these seemingly useless wooden pallets. And these pallets are often seen as just useless junk to most businesses. In fact, they'll often just call the city dump to come and pick up these pallets to throw Way. But what if I told you that in most cases you could go and pick up these pallets completely free and then resell them for thousands of dollars? So pallets like this could go six, seven dollars last year, maybe eight, and now you could get 12, 14, 15 dollars for uh, these type of pallets. If you're out in California, it could even be up to like $20 per pallet. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I personally always see these pallets just stacked everywhere, like especially behind business buildings. Little did most of us know that these pallets can sell between $10 and $15 per pallet to other businesses that need them, which may not sound like a lot of money, but when you consider that many businesses have stockpiles of, you know, 100, 200, 300 plus of these pallets every other day, or even sometimes every day, these 10 to $15 pallets can start adding up really fast. And folks, just keep in mind, this is just one business. You know, if you were able to get multiple businesses on your like regular rotation, then you're talking about making potentially tens of thousands of dollars per day. Now, of all the businesses that I've ever started, uh, YouTube is definitely the one that hits closest to home for me. And that's because YouTube has literally changed my life. It's given me more opportunities and more ways to earn money than anything else I've ever done. For example, in a couple of weeks, I'll be flying first class to LA to film a commercial for Credit Karma, which is paying $40,000 plus $5,000 in covered travel expenses. And this is something that absolutely would not have been possible if it weren't for my YouTube channel. And by the end of this year, I'm projecting to make close to $3 million in combined income. Once again, because of my YouTube channel. But even more important than all the money and opportunities that my channel has brought me are some of the incredible people that I've been able to meet and become really close friends with. And folks, I'm just going to be honest with you. It wasn't until just a few months ago that I began to see the true value of having connections. Like having people within your inner circle who you can trust and rely on to bring insane amounts of value to your life and vice versa. A lot of the money and opportunities that I'm getting now wouldn't be happening to me if it weren't for having certain people in my circle. My brand manager, Chris, for example, he's become a very, very dear friend of mine. And this man has brought more value to my life through his knowledge of just negotiating and operations than I could have ever done for myself personally. Now, I already know what some of you are thinking but Joshua, I don't have any connections. And trust me, I get it. When I first started my journey to becoming an entrepreneur and just trying to take strides to improve my life, to make more money, you know, I had zero connections, no money, uh, no skills, I had nothing. And so folks, I get it, but just understand that these things take time to develop. My biggest fear is that a lot of you watching are just trying to rush through these things, right? Like it doesn't matter what business you start on this list, all of it will take time and effort, but you have to trust the process and you have to trust yourself enough to know that you're gonna stay committed to the process because your future self is depending on you. Now, building a successful YouTube channel or even like a successful TikTok or something is important. However, something that I believe is even more important than the platform is your actual personal brand. And this is something that a lot of you watching can do. You could be insanely popular on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, and you could make a lot of money on those platforms. But the real question is, can you make money outside of that platform? Like if you were to move somewhere else off of YouTube or off, to, off of TikTok or whatever, could you still continue to make money because people recognize you as the brand? For example, if you decided to go and write a book, will your audience on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram go to Amazon and buy the book because they know that it was written by you? Will big brands and people want to work with you outside of your YouTube channel or outside of your TikTok? Credit Karma is paying me $45,000 to, to do this commercial because they like Joshua Mayo, the brand. Yes, my YouTube channel has definitely 
definitely helped to establish that brand, but me working with Credit Karma has nothing to do with my channel. It's not like a sponsorship on my channel. This is something that Credit Karma is gonna use for their own brand to like put on TV or something. Now, one question that you might be asking right now is, well, Joshua, how exactly do I build a personal brand then? And there really isn't just one straightforward answer to this, right? I think that when you provide value on the internet, whether it's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, when you provide value, people will naturally begin to follow you. And if you're bold about expressing your values and your beliefs about life, money, relationships, things that are important to most of us, then your personal brand kind of begins to form by itself. And I think that the people who end up developing the strongest personal brands are the people who just stay true to themselves and their values. For example, when I first started making content in this very saturated personal finance niche on YouTube, I knew for a fact that I wanted to make videos that were very different from all the other videos that were being made from other bigger channels. I wanted to make videos that were visually interesting to watch with new ideas and just information presented in a unique way that was also just like audibly interesting to listen to. And so for example, for my personal brand, one of the things that I started doing was just like using music in my videos just to help convey the emotions and drive the engagement more for my videos. And at the time, this was something that I didn't see a lot of other channels within this niche doing. And the main website that I use for basically all of my music is a site called Epidemic Sound. Now, the thing that I like about Epidemic Sound is that you can basically use their music on any platform, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, all of them. And so it doesn't really matter what platform you decide to use to help build your personal brand. You can have high quality music on any of these platforms, which I personally think is essential. Epidemic Sound has an endless catalog of music. In fact, they've got over 30,000 professionally produced songs in a variety of genres and over 90,000 different sound effects. And the thing that I love the most about Epidemic is this right here, which is the find similar button next to every song. For example, I like to use a lot of like trap style hip hop songs in the background of my videos. And so if there's one song specifically that I like, I can just click right here on the find similar button to see what other songs there are that might have that same sort of vibe. And I've literally used this feature to find hundreds of songs for my videos. And if you click on the discover tab, Epidemic will also recommend songs that you can use based on your specific YouTube channel. And this helps, especially if you like to use the same genre of music within your videos, but you don't want to have to keep using the same exact song over and over again. Now, the best part is that if you use my link down in the description below, you'll get a free one month trial to Epidemic Sound. And on top of that, Epidemic is giving you guys an additional two months for 50% off. And all you have to do is click on my link in the bio and use Mayo50 at checkout. Any of the music and sound effects that you use during your free trial will remain safe and protected, even if you cancel your subscription after your trial is over. So if you want high quality, original music to use within your videos, be sure to click on my Epidemic Sound link down below in the description or the pinned comment to get started completely free. So about a month ago, I was sitting in my outside office. And so not this one that you'd see behind me, but another private office just somewhere else. And I'm sitting there just working one night and it's kind of late, like 9 p.m. And I see a cleaner just going through all the individual offices doing some very light minimal cleaning. And so he gets to my office and you know, replaces my, my trash bag. And as he's about to leave, I stop him to ask him a question. And I asked him, I said, hey, I'm just curious. Do you work for another cleaning company or are you working for your own cleaning company? And he stops and kind of looks at me funny and says, uh, this is my cleaning company. I, I own this company. And then I asked him, I said, listen, I know this is kind of a far-fetched question and I don't want to offend you. And if you don't want to answer the question, you don't have to, but how much money are you making like per month cleaning these offices? Because I've seen this guy before and it's only ever him just going through all the, the individual private offices, doing some light cleaning. And there's like 40 or 50 of these offices within this building that he just goes through and cleans within like two to three hours. And so I asked him, I said, how much are you making each month from cleaning these offices? And he told me that he's contracted at $10,000 per month to clean Monday through Friday. He also told me that this wasn't his only location, that he had over two dozen other locations, all paying him between five and $10,000 per month each. Now he does have other cleaners that he hired to help him clean these other locations, but this is a business that he's only been doing for a few years and he's been able to scale it to a nearly $1 million per year business. And folks, this is not like an uncommon thing. You know, like cleaning businesses are extremely lucrative. They're really easy to start, don't require much upfront capital at all. And I think that basically everyone knows how to vacuum and wipe down a desk. And so they're really easy to start and just kind of like operate. I started with dollars, literally dollars. Put a number on it, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20. Like, what do you need to do to get started? I think I had a couple hundred in the bank after I lost my job, bought cleaning supplies and just decided to go 
full on with it. This year, uh, I think we're on track to do close to a million, like shy of a million, like 900 something thousand dollars. Another sort of service-based business that you can start is a real estate photography business or really just like any photography business in general. Photography is one of those services that I think will literally always exist. And there are a ton of people just making life-changing money with this business. I mean, we're talking 1,000, 2,000 plus dollars per day just taking pictures. We make on average $35,000 per month in sales. How many clients is that? Consistently that we work with would be about 400 agents okay. for real estate specifically. And this amount of money is not unusual for a photography business, especially depending on the type of market that you're targeting. For example, real estate photography can be a very lucrative business because real estate agents will pay photographers to take professional pictures of their listings for a few hundred dollars. And taking these pictures, especially once you're a practice, will only typically take you a few hours. And so imagine you're able to spend eight hours per day just taking pictures for four different houses. I mean, we're talking about potentially making $1,200 or more per day. And the best part is that getting started isn't really all that difficult. There are a ton of videos on YouTube that can walk you through the entire process of starting a business like this. Just watch one of these videos, don't overthink the process, and just start. Now, this next business idea is one that I truly am convinced anybody can start. It requires very little skill, uh, it can be started for virtually zero dollars and it's also highly scalable and that business is a social media marketing agency now like with any agency all you're really doing is providing a service for a client and specifically with this type of agency all you're doing is just managing a company's uh, social media marketing strategy and that's really just the fancy way of saying that you're managing their ads typically this is done on Facebook through Facebook ads but it can also be done through Google ads uh, Pinterest ads whatever but essentially all you're doing first is just deciding on the type of client that you want to work with. Like, do you want to work with doctors? Uh, dentists, lawyers, car mechanics, bakeries, uh, landscaping companies, right? I used to be the creative director for a pretty large B2G or business to government uh, social media marketing agency. And this was back like before I started my own web development agency. And this agency that I worked for only focused on working with government contractors, right? And so companies that produce things for the military or just like other government related things. And basically all the companies in this area, this was in Washington DC I was working remotely for this company but basically all the companies in Washington DC that were a B to G business went to this agency for their social media marketing and so step one is decide on your niche like what clients are you gonna be targeting and then step two is to actually find the clients and you can literally do this by just going to Upwork and typing in social media marketing into the search bar and then just submitting proposals this way and then just rinse and repeat and once you're able to start signing on companies that pay you, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollars per month consistently to manage their social media ads, then the rest is history. And you can really start to scale this business by subcontracting some of your clients to other contractors. And so let's just say, for example, that you sign a client at three thousand dollars per month, right? You could easily go and hire somebody and just pay them a fraction of that price to run and manage that client's ads. And then you can just collect the difference. So back before YouTube, um, I worked as a web development freelancer for a lot of different agencies and basically all of these web development agencies would just contract me to build entire websites for them and so what they would do is they would pay me between 15 and 20 percent of the uh, entire contracts worth right and so let's just say for example that they signed a client at twenty thousand dollars what they would do is they would subcontract me and pay me between three and four thousand dollars to build this entire website and then they would just collect the you know sixteen seventeen thousand dollars difference even though I was the one literally building the entire website and so when I finally found out that this was happening I stopped and thought to myself wait a minute I'm just gonna go start my own agency and do the exact same thing. Get contracts, you know, hire freelancers, pay them between 15 and 20% of the entire contract's value, and then just pocket the difference for myself. Folks, here's the thing, right? You don't even have to know how to build websites to, to do this business successfully, right? It's literally no different than you running a social media marketing agency and just outsourcing the work to other contractors. You're simply the one finding the deals and then outsourcing the actual building of the website to 
to somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Folks, I'm telling you right now, this business model works extremely, extremely well. I've, I've done it myself personally. I've worked for over 25 different agencies that have also done the same exact thing. And so I know for a fact that this business model works. And what's crazy, and I'm telling you guys, I cannot make this stuff up. The crazy part is that a lot of the owners of these agencies didn't even know how to build websites. They were just the ones finding new deals and then outsourcing that work to somebody else. And they're getting, you know, five, six, seven new clients per month, all paying between 10 and 20,000 plus dollars to build a new website. And oftentimes, a lot of these agencies were able to convert these clients, these one-time clients into long-term clients that paid them, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars per month to manage their social media ads for them. And I can tell you right now, this may sound like a lot of money, but for many businesses, this is just a business expense for them that they can write off on their taxes. When I have to go and buy some new equipment for like, you know, $5,000, or if I have to go buy a plane ticket to travel for business, I'm not thinking about how much money I'm spending because it's literally just the cost of doing business. And I know that me spending that money now is inevitably gonna make me even more money in the future. And so I'm not thinking about it. Plus, once again, it's a tax write-off. And at the end of each year, I just give all of my receipts, all of my credit card statements, I just give everything to my CPA, he works his magic, and voila, tax write-offs. And so businesses are willing and able to spend money. And for you, this is life-changing money that you need to get in front of and take. All of these business ideas that we talked about today, folks, can easily earn you over $1,000 per day if you just put in the work necessary to get these things up and running. I know this for a fact because I'm currently living that reality right now, and you've literally got what it takes to do the exact same thing. So don't be afraid, just start taking action. Folks, you guys are amazing. Every single one of you watching, I mean that. Believe in yourself and understand that you can accomplish whatever you want in this life. And as always, I'll see you guys again very soon. Take care.